but I need to make pumpkin cake, pumpkin chocolate cake. Easily make fresh pasta sheets, spaghetti fettuccine, cappellini, stunning colors. And it feels so much warmer, so I'm going to replace. So satisfying. I am at an open house. I'm coming through the back door, actually. Maybe I should go through the front. I'm happy by myself, not a care in the world. Then, these two are the same. Well, these three are from the same company. Can you please come here? Here, I'll give you a blankie. Look, come here. Come here. It fits exactly what I wanted the trunk for and it fits like a glove. I just hope they're not... It does fit. Oops. I don't want to break it. I may need you want to do this for me because... How stunning is this painting? Let me bring it up close so you can see. Let me know what you think because by the time this goes live, you would have already seen this. Well, starting the vlog in a very weird, at a very weird time, but I'm running out of the house and I thought that I would do an intro before just popping up some random videos. But we're headed to a grand opening of a new store of Banana Republic at the mall. And this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these, excuse the mess behind me. We just got back from a really long trip. And the only Banana Republic I could find in my closet right now was this cashmere jumper. So I just threw it over my shoulders. But I have a trench coat on, black trench coat, my Abercrombie pants, and the Skims inspired top that I have talked about before my YSL ivory bag and these ivory ballet pumps so ballet shoes no ballet flats not pumps so and hair and makeup did a very very quick hair and makeup and so yeah we're headed there very excited to see their new renovated store so I thought I would take you along and I had to do an intro because I didn't want to just start with some random videos <laughs> myself not a care in the world this is a life just me myself and i i am watching the clouds up in the sky all but laughing out loud i'm telling you why i am living the life just me myself and i i used to think that life was cold and Lonely when you up and left me sadness overwhelming me I am out and about painting the town red I'm coming around there ain't no doubt about it I'm no longer blue so glad we are through just me myself and I Oh, 
also getting these chicken wings. They're ready for the air fryer and they are so, so, so good. I'll show you these fries that we get also. They are checkers. I don't know if you guys have or if everyone knows what checkers is, but it's a fast food chain place around here. And their fries are so good, top of the line. And we just found their fries at our local supermarket. And we tried it the other night. We put it in the air fryer and it was oh, so, so good. You found it? Where's, oh yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Famous seasoned checkers fries. Crispy french fries, seasoned potatoes. We also put these in the air fryer with a little bit of ketchup and mayo. On our way to get ice cream. My hand put this. Nope. My hand is cold. <laughs> my hand is cold. Okay, then you're gonna have to hold the ice cream. Wait, I want to see if they have that French brand. No, stop it. <laughs> is it? Is it? Um, oh, this. 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 Is this the French brand one? I just want to see. Ow. I just want to see if this is the French one. Yes, French ice cream. I want vanilla. Okay, let's find vanilla. Oh my god, my hand is freezing. <laughs> That's, oh wow, they have Earl Grey. I need vanilla, but I can't. I don't want to open these. Uh, oh, vanilla. Vanilla bean. I see it. I see vanilla. I remember it being a little bit lighter, not yellow. This is the best ice cream. And then my second favorite is, let me show you, this brand. And then it's a pistachio one, which I don't think they have right now. Oh, so cold. Oh, Jima's favorite ice cream is toothpaste. <laughs> His favorite ice cream is literally toothpaste. They don't have pistachio. It's so hard to keep these clothes while you look because they're all frosted. You can't see anything. He's gonna get a chocolate chip mint. Which is toothpaste. You can have you can just have toothpaste. <laughs> Did you find pistachio? No. Or they don't have it. We almost sure. forgot the main reason we came here for, which is the popcorn and we go all out with popcorn we get the movie theater butter one <laughs> what do you want from this aisle oh i think he wants pretzels or cheez it's who yeah cheez i knew it i literally said he wants pretzels or cheez it's cheez it's cheese puffs are we on a on our monthly cycle tonight? <laughs> I mean, not me. <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> so we decided to go all out. I know it's not my monthly cycle. <laughs> Would you please stop saying that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> because somebody. <laughs> we found our movie. We're gonna watch. What's it called? The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling, and he's having his dinner. How did we pick the movie? You said Ryan Gosling. I love him so much. I really want to watch Ryan Gosling, and I said, okay, fine. If you really love him that much, and you really <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, and this little one is having his dinner. Did you pour his dinner for him? He's uh, waiting. Uh, yes. I didn't hear you. Did you pour his dinner? Yes. Can I tell him to go? Go. Go. <laughs> He's like waiting for your order. Command. Command. Waiting for your command. In three, two, one. Action. Good afternoon, everyone. I am at an open house. It's such a beautiful home and it's such a beautiful day. So I thought I would show you, give you a little tour. The house is in Southeast DC and it's listed for right below 2 million. 
1.899 so I thought before people get here I would show you first let's start with the outside of this stunning patio it's super cozy place and they've done insane amount of renovations I'm coming through the back door actually maybe I should go through the front and show you but I'll show you what the front door is. This is the kitchen. And but just look at this kitchen. Imagine eating breakfast here every morning, drinking your coffee by the patio every morning. <laughs> and then we go to the, that's the front door. And this is the little, little bar area for coffee station. Also two-tone cabinets here as well. And then here's the bathroom, which I am in love with the wallpaper. Stunning wallpaper, absolutely beautiful. I am strolling along, just minding my business, humming a song. I'm happy I hope you enjoyed that little tour. I thought I heard somebody. I don't know why I look so pale because I might need to top off my lipstick with another, with another shade of lipstick. And we're gonna head to a, actually a fall market. Is it a fall market or October market? I think it's called a fall market right after this. And I'm so excited because I've never been to a fall market. It's in the same place that the French market was in a couple of months ago. I think I took you along. Yes, I, for sure I took you along. So we're gonna head there right after, but we only have one hour because our open house ends at three and the fall market ends at four, but I'm sure there'll be some stuff still going around after 4 p.m. So we're gonna head there right after. Very excited. around 100 of them around the house or 50. These normally are very expensive and they're all around the house. Are we even able to? Oh Jesus. What about that statue? <laughs> Who put it, put it in our front uh, driveway? <laughs> By our garage door. <laughs> Good evening everyone. Sorry if I just popped up some videos, random videos on the screen. We went antique store shopping today. I have been looking for a couple of pieces and to be exact, I found a bunch of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff which I'll show you during the daylight tomorrow. But a couple of pieces I was looking for and I actually found a couple of them. So I've been looking for oil paintings because we're renovating just a little bit, just some, some wall touch-ups and adding some moldings, which I'll show you, doing some paint work. It's gonna make a huge, huge, huge difference in our living room and our bedroom to be specific. So we're renovating these two rooms. Actually, bedroom, a lot more renovation than the living room. Living room would just be the walls, paint, molding, and some lights. And um, a mirror for my downstairs table and a trunk which I found unbelievable that it fit exactly where I wanted the trunk for and it fit like a glove. But I wanna show you that during the day tomorrow. But I've also been ordering a bunch of stuff from Amazon that I wanna show you, a bunch of stuff that I got because it's a little bit of mix and match from Amazon and with the antique stuff that I got, I wanna mix and match them a little bit. So one of the first items that I actually ordered an hour ago just arrived so a bunch of other I just got a really bad paper cut oh wow yeah really bad one all right I'm gonna put band-aid on it but <laughs> I'll show you what I got but the thing is I ordered a bunch of other stuff as well but they're arriving soon like in the next hour so I'll show you if they get here 
And if it's late, then I'll show you tomorrow. Okay then. But the first item is this beautiful shade. And the reason I ordered these now is because I found two really beautiful antique shades. I'll show you the shades I got because these are not my favorite, favorite shades. I got these really, really nice antique ones. Let me bring it. I found two. How beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I've been obsessed with these shades and I've looking I've been looking for them everywhere. So this is like a crisp white fabric. This is more like ivory, which really goes really, really nicely with my kitchen. And I really, really hope it fits because these old ones, I think they just like pop over a, a, a lamp. That's what Jimon said. I also ordered a couple of shorter ones. These specifically, I want them for my dining room table, for the shelf next to the dining room, for my room, for my closet, and then for underneath the cabinet, which I'll show you what it looks like underneath the cabinet. So these are rechargeable and they last for more than a, I think online I read they last more than like two days, just non-stop charge. Oh, I just hope they're not... It does fit. Oops. I don't want to break it. I may need Jimon to do this for me because it did go around the lamp, but it just falls. So I need Jimon to do this part for me. Okay, well, you get the idea. And then I think it has like, th oh, three different color temperatures. One, two, three. Let's see if it fits under the oh this has to be tighter right like very very tight i just and i just pop it over oh there we go but it's not standing straight <laughs> okay i need you want to do this but like, i just want to see if it fits under the cabinet because i also got this really really nice cute little painting for underneath the cabinet that goes really nicely with this so let's see if it fits it did fit, but it's so it sits so high that I may want the shorter one. So this one said it's 15 inches, and then I got another one that's 12 inches, and then I got another one which is 10 inches. I think the 10 inch one would fit perfectly. So let me show you what it looks like right now. Eeh. So maybe I need to turn this light off so you can see better because I hate the flickering. It's LED so it flickers. Look how incredible it looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know how to fix this top part though. Okay, well you get the idea, right? But I want it to sit a little bit lower. What do you think? And then this is the painting I found. How stunning is this painting? Let me bring it up close so you can see. Sorry, that's my <laughs> microphone. <laughs> it's oil painting and it says on the back original an original oil painting by florine i can't read with the camera in front of it gumpf yeah gump gump um but the back is this like velvet let me put it down so i can show you is this velvet fabric with like kind of like silk satin so that's the backing the backing could be a beautiful painting by itself, but this is the painting. I still don't know how I want to decorate this, but I just put it there for now, just so that I can see how everything is going to come together. And I think it's beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. I don't even have a watch on, but um, a couple of items, a couple of other items arrived from Amazon that I want to show you quickly but I need to make pumpkin cake because I need to make it before it gets dark so that I can film it this is very exciting because I really like pumpkin chocolate cake and I just love anything with pumpkin I'm gonna go make some pumpkin cake and I'll be right back
few items that I got. As you know, I have the KitchenAid, can you see it from here? No, stand mixer that my mom and my dad got for us for our bridal shower as a gift. So I got a couple of attachments for it because when we were in Europe, we took a couple of cooking classes and one of the cooking classes was pasta making class. All of those vlogs are coming. I can't wait to share them with you. We had an incredible time. But one of my favorite parts of the trip was cooking classes. They were my absolute favorite. And the moment I got back, I was like, I need pasta attachments. I need pasta cook. Although we did it by hand over there. We used, a, the, the, the chef called it a pasta guitar. We did it by hand. And you'll see in the video how incredible this works. I'm sure a lot of you may already know what a pasta guitar is. I've never used it before. I had seen a lot of pasta equipment before. I've never used it. I've never even made pasta from scratch. And I could not believe my eyes. I could not believe it's only two ingredients, flour and eggs. That's it. I bought a couple of stuff for the KitchenAid. So first I got this KitchenAid five piece pasta deluxe set. And here's the thing about this one. Sorry, the light is reflecting on it. Um, it's already getting dark. KitchenAid stand mixer attachment, five piece pasta deluxe set, easily make fresh pasta sheets, spaghetti fettuccine, capellini, and lasagna noodles. So here's the thing. This comes with five attachments. There's a price difference between this one and the three piece one. There is a three piece one. And I'm really debating whether I really need this one because I need spaghetti and I need fettuccine, honestly. And then it comes with spaghetti fettuccine and a um, sheet maker. So it makes your dough into sheet. Then you put one of these cutters. I've already used it a couple of times. And actually, let me show you the attachments. First of all, they are so heavy. So, 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 uh, they're very heavy. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> okay, so it comes with a cutter and you don't have to have the KitchenAid mixer or this to make pasta at home. I saw this girl say that she got this pasta maker, a pasta, yeah, pasta cutter from Amazon for like $30 or $35. So you just roll it with your hand. Oh, there's one electrical one, you plug it in. It doesn't have to be KitchenAid. It doesn't have to be this crazy. The only reason is because my mom already got that as a gift for me. My parents uh, got it as a gift for me. And so why not get the attachments first? I'm not gonna pay an extra money to get something that's completely separate than my mixer. So that's why I got this one. But if you don't have that one, don't you really don't have to. To. there are so many similar or if you have an attachment and you don't you don't have to get KitchenAid I will link all those options down below for you if you want to get different options I will list this one for you and then I will link the similar ones I found so if you want to get those so the KitchenAid I have right now comes with a metal bowl let me show you it comes with this metal bowl but I really wanted a ceramic bowl because metal I'm not really stainless steel sorry stainless steel not metal <laughs> Um, stainless steel I'm not really 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 a huge fan of it just feels feels cold to me so I really like ceramic and I saw that they have a couple of different ones and as you know I'm I love green anything green of course it has to be a beautiful shade of green I got this bowl that's ceramic I put it back in the box I just used it so I can show you what the box looks like and just unbox it with you but I already unboxed it it's this beautiful ceramic bowl it's stunning colors that i hope the color comes across the camera but it's very very beautiful and it feels so much warmer so i'm going to replace the metal stainless steel one for this one for now i'm sure i'm going to use the stainless steel one as well a lot but i really really like this um ceramic one a lot and they have a couple other ceramic ones they just came out with kitchen it just came out with um this mixer that's I think $7.99, $800, and it's called Evergreen. Oh my goodness. The mixer itself is this like matte green, like kind of like ivy leaf. I don't know what that green is, like dark ivy color. And then the bowl is wooden bowl. Oh my goodness, I fell in love with it. But $800? I don't think it does anything extra. I think it's a limited edition. I don't know why it's so expensive but i absolutely fell in love with it it's stunning sorry i started getting a little hungry and i'm like we i haven't made food and it's almost 4 p.m and so i thought i'll make pasta and i thought i would show you how to make it i got this recipe from this cooking class in italy and it shows 10 different recipes so we had uh, an appetizer we had food and then we had dessert and then different sauces and different um we made ravioli and we made What's the other one? Not ravioli. So ravioli, I learned that it's only if it's the full square. 
it's called ravioli and then if you make it half it's called tortellini is that what i'm am i right Tor tortellini so for pasta dough and pizza dough i learned that you're supposed to use zero zero flour because it's the finest flour which makes it perfect for pizza and pasta dough this is the brand if you want to get it i get this from our local supermarket so you're supposed to do 100 grams this is for one serving 100 grams of flour one egg so i'm making 200 grams and two eggs for two servings Okay, so once you feel like you have good formed dough like this, kind of like this, then you want to rest it for about 30 minutes, minimum 30 minutes. And you can keep this dough airtight in the fridge for up to a day. After that, it just starts becoming, uh, it gets like these dark spots and it just not good anymore. So this can be kept for up to a day. Room temperature for 30 minutes, airtight. You have to cover it. So I'm gonna go make my, make the rest of the dinner, make the sauce, make some meatballs and I'll come back. All right, it's been half an hour. I'm going to start making my pasta. I've already made hot water for the pasta, pasta sauce and some meatballs. So what you wanna do is split this into four. It's a little bit easier if you're making it for one person because it's smaller. So it's just easier to play around with it. But you basically want to make this into four. This is for two servings. If you're making it for one person, you also want to cut it into four because then that gives you smaller, even smaller pieces. Then you cover the rest. Always cover what you're not working with because it will harden. You definitely don't want that. Then, oh, I need my roller. Then what you do is you sprinkle a little bit of flour on your surface area, like so, just a little bit. And this is my bowl that the pasta is going in. I'm going to put some in there because otherwise it's gonna stick together. So you're going to spread this first. You're going to, it forms into a ball again. And the warmth of your fingers kind of make it a little bit softer too. You only need the cutter, I mean the roller, just to make it a little flat so that it can fit. Like that's it. And then you turn this on level one, always level one. And then you kind of feed it through. A couple of times until it doesn't sound like it's working really hard. Level two, two or three times on each level is fine. And sometimes I jump two at a time. So now I'm gonna go to five, maybe one more time. And now I'm gonna change the head to spaghetti. I put this underneath it so that it can catch everything. So satisfying. And you kind of want to toss it around the flour because it's it will immediately stick together. Just a little bit of tossing around will do it. And I'm gonna get the rest. So I've already made my meatball and sauce. I just mix them together. And once I put the pasta in there, it cooks within three minutes. So it's very, very fast because it's fresh pasta. So it's already boiling. You have to make sure it's fully, fully boiling. I'm sure you know how to make pasta, but I'm just going over some little tips. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna take about three minutes to fully cook.
I just called Jimon to eat with me but unfortunately he has another couple hours of work and I have to eat because I'm starving so this is what the pasta finished product looks like I've seen so many people trying to show their food and it's soup or something liquidy and it spills everywhere I saw it like three times the past week I'm like oh my god if it's soup don't do that so it's the final finished product I'm on. okay then you know I opened that space for myself right you know that you know mommy wants to sit there did you know that <laughs> I'm gonna watch a show that I just found if this little one lets me. Okay. Can, okay. Okay. I'm gonna cuddle with mommy and then he nags at me like, ah, ah, ah. Like I'm taking his space. Can you please come here? Here, I'll give you a blankie. Look, come here. Come here. Yeah, he just put his head down. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'm not resting my back. I'm so sorry, your highness. I'm so sorry. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fresh pasta is something else. And this sauce they taught me is incredible. It's just three, four ingredients. Tomato sauce. Is it tomato sauce? Tomato sauce, garlic, olive oil, basil, and a little bit of salt. Five. Just fresh pasta, something else. Incredible. And then the, the meatball is chicken. Chicken meatball with basil, parsley, onions, salt, pepper, and a bunch of other goodies. Also, am I the only one that loves pasta in a bowl like i cannot have a pasta at home like when i go out i can't ask the restaurant to put it in a bowl but when i'm at home i can't have it in a plate or even a pasta plate it has to be in a bowl so that it's all warm and cozy and you can just like hug the bowl jimon doesn't like it he likes it in a plate Are you ready to eat? I want some. Oh, yay! Okay. Should I come? No, thanks. You got it? I don't need your help. Oh. I've done all the work already. <laughs> This is everything that arrived just now, today actually, but I'm not going to do this today because this will put the vlog at about an hour, which is way too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly open only the lights, which is like three of these, or one, two, three of these. Only gonna open the lights since I showed you the lights in this vlog already so that you can kind of see. I have more lights coming and I have all of this to open with you, but I'm gonna do, the, do it in the next vlog. I promise I'm going to start the next one right away. So as soon as I show you these, I'm gonna start the next vlog and I will unbox all of this. These are all the lights, okay? These two are the same exact brand, same exact style. The only difference is that this is a lot shorter, same shade, same base, same everything. And then these two, and they all have three different settings. So they all have dimmers, they go all the way up and all the way down, oops. Then these two are the same. Well, these three are from the same company, but this has a different base than this. This comes in different shades. It comes in red, white, I believe black, and then these two colors, and then this one as well. This is the taller, this is the shorter, obviously. This is the one I showed you 
yesterday or the day before yesterday with my shade that I got from the antique store but I'm obsessed with the green one absolutely obsessed with the green one it has um, an additional like a satin layer inside so that it kind of diffuses the light this one does not the white one does not but the green one does this one does not either so far i'm obsessed with this one but i clearly need a different one because i need to put my own shade in it so i really like this one i really like this one i think these two are going back so far but then the decision is between these two if, do i want to keep the tall one do i want to keep the short one i will show you what it looks like underneath my cabinet as well Okay, it is such a hard decision to make. That one in the back is my shade on it, but it's such a hard decision to make because I love this one, I love this one, and I love the taller one because with my shade, it looks incredible, and I love the height for here, for the counter. I feel like that one is a perfect height, but then for my book book uh, bookcase that I'm building upstairs and the shelf next to the dining room table and even the dining room tables, I feel like these are the perfect height. So I'm still gonna play around with them for the next couple of days just to see what I like best and then I'll make my final decision. Okay, so here it is. This is what it looks like. It's so incredibly cozy. I can't even explain it. And I think for here, for this table, cause I put the taller one here yesterday, this looks better and then you can like dim it. No, oh shoot, turn it off. Okay, you can even dim it lower like this i'll turn this off <laughs> this one looks incredible super super cozy let me know what you think because by the time this goes live you would have already seen this so let me know what you think let me know which ones you love better and yeah i have a couple of days to decide what i want to do but next vlog i will show you a bunch of other things so i think i'm gonna leave the vlog here and i'll start the next one as promised thank you guys so much for watching love you lots and see you on the next one